Have you listened to the insane clown posse song, It's All Over, recently? This cryptic track, released in the early 2000s, has stirred up quite the conversation over the years. The band, known for their provocative lyrics, paints a vivid picture of a world on the brink of disaster. Intriguing, isn't it? The song is filled with apocalyptic themes and it's almost as if they were predicting our future. So let's unravel this lyrical enigma and explore the uncanny predictions it made. Let's dive into these lyrics and see what predictions they made that seem eerily relevant today. The lyrics start off with, The end is coming, repent now or forever burn. The end of the world is here, the signs are everywhere, it's all over. An apocalyptic tone is set right from the start, painting a vivid picture of a world in chaos. Now you might be wondering how this ties into our current reality. Let's delve a bit deeper into the lyrics. The song mentions, holy fuck it's hot outside, extra hot, the sun is closer than it's ever got. Now, isn't that eerily similar to the escalating global temperatures we're experiencing today? Rising heat, melting ice caps, extreme weather events. Our world is indeed getting hotter, much like the song suggests. Next, the lyrics state, The sky's polluted, it's raining crud. Pollution has been one of the most pressing issues of our time. Our skies are filled with smog and harmful particles, causing respiratory problems and other health issues. The song seems to have predicted this environmental crisis. The song also predicts natural disasters with the lines, Every hour, the planet shakes. Buildings collapse from the earthquakes. Earthquakes, hurricanes, wildfires. These calamities are becoming more frequent and more devastating. It's hard to ignore the connection between these predictions and the reality we're living in. The lyrics then say, Tidal waves swallowing the shores. Coffins pushing up through your floors. Rising sea levels and increasing flooding are real threats we're facing due to climate change. The imagery of coffins pushing up through the floors might be symbolic of the rising death tolls due to these disasters. And finally, it's suddenly freezing, we fall to pieces, pray for Allah, and call to Jesus. The song talks about sudden cold, possibly hinting at the unpredictable weather patterns we're seeing because of climate change. As we can see, these lyrics might not be so far-fetched after all. The song seems to have predicted the environmental crises we're facing today. But remember, these are just interpretations, and not everyone might agree. What do you think? Is this song a prediction of our current state, or is it all just a coincidence? The song continues with tidal waves swallowing the shores, coffins pushing up through your floors. It's a chilling image, isn't it? And while we might not have literal tidal waves engulfing our cities, or coffins breaking through our floorboards, the metaphorical implications are uncanny. Rising sea levels and increasingly extreme weather events are becoming a grim reality of our time. The song was released back in 2011, and yet it seems to have predicted the climate crisis we find ourselves in today. Glaciers are melting, oceans are rising, and if we don't take urgent action, we might soon see our coastal cities swallowed by the sea. Now let's look at the second part of this verse. Coffins pushing up through your floors. A bit morbid don't you think? But if we think about the past couple of years, we've witnessed a global health crisis, the likes of which haven't been seen for a century. The COVID-19 pandemic has claimed millions of lives, and it often feels like we're surrounded by death and despair. It's interesting, isn't it, how a song from over a decade ago seems to have predicted some of the most pressing issues of our time. Of course, it's not a perfect prediction. We don't have literal tidal waves or coffins in our living rooms, but the song does seem to capture the essence of the crises we're facing. We're living in a world that's rapidly changing and not always for the better. Climate change is threatening our way of life and global health crises are becoming increasingly common. These are the tidal waves and coffins of our time. Again, these lyrics seem to hit close to home. So what does this mean for us? Are we living in the end times predicted by the insane clown posse? Or are these just coincidences, the product of our tendency to see patterns where there are none? We'll continue to explore these questions in the next part of this video. Stay tuned. The lyrics then say, Boulders fall from the sky, death with no clue when or why. The sun explodes and we absorb it. Our planet spins right out of orbit. In this part, we're faced with a barrage of apocalyptic predictions. First up, we have boulders falling from the sky. Is this a foretelling of meteor impacts? We've seen in history how devastating these can be, like when a meteorite wiped out the dinosaurs 65 million years ago. It's a terrifying thought, isn't it? 
Next we have death with no clue when or why. This could be a reference to sudden, unexplained deaths. Perhaps it's a commentary on the unpredictability of life and the inevitability of death. We all know that death is certain, yet we never know when or how it will come. This line hits a nerve because it rings so true. Then the lyrics give us, the sun explodes and we absorb it. This paints a picture of a solar explosion, a supernova. It's a phenomenon that scientists say will happen to our sun, but not for another five billion years or so. But who knows, maybe the insane clown posse have a different timeline. Lastly, our planet spins right out of orbit. Now this could be a reference to the Earth's orbit changing or even the Earth spinning out of control. While this is not a prediction we often hear, it's not completely out of the realm of possibility. Changes in the Earth's orbit have been linked to ice ages in the past, and some scientists theorize that a large enough asteroid impact could potentially knock our planet off its path. These predictions are certainly chilling, aren't they? It's like the song is giving us a front row seat to the end of the world. It's a stark reminder of the volatile and unpredictable nature of the universe. But remember, these are just predictions, interpretations of a song. They're not set in stone, but they do make you think, don't they? Finally, the song ends with, aliens show up and eat mankind. A virus spreads with no cure to find. God has had enough of our shit. A nuclear war breaks out and that's it. Let's consider these predictions. Alien invasions, a staple of the sci-fi genre and a favorite amongst conspiracy theorists are first on the list. Extraterrestrial life has always intrigued us. The notion of advanced civilizations beyond our planet, capable of wiping us out, is both terrifying and fascinating. While we haven't seen any green Martians yet, the increased reports of unidentified aerial phenomena by credible sources do make one wonder. Next, we encounter an incurable virus. This line hits too close to home, doesn't it? We are living in the times of a global pandemic after all. Although we've made incredible strides in medicine, the lyric reminds us of our vulnerability to nature's microscopic entities. The song then talks about divine judgment. God has had enough of our shit. This line can be interpreted in many ways. It can relate to the religious belief in Armageddon, or it can be a metaphor for the consequences of our actions as a species. Climate change, pollution, deforestation. Are these not signs of a planet pushed to its brink? And finally, a nuclear war. The destructive potential of nuclear weapons has been a global concern since the mid 20th century. With escalating tensions among nuclear armed nations, this grim prediction is not entirely far-fetched. These lyrics released back in 2011 appear to echo the fears and apprehensions of our present world. The song, in its dark humor and exaggerated scenarios, seems to be a satirical commentary on the state of the world. So, are you ready for the end of times that seem to be unfolding before our very eyes? Well, that's all the time we have for today. We've journeyed through the lyrics of the insane clown posse's song, It's All Over, a track that seems to echo our current reality in an uncanny way. The song, released years ago, talks about an incurable virus, natural disasters and wars, all of which have become part of our daily lives. Did the insane clown posse have a crystal ball? Or was it just a wild coincidence? We may never know. But what we do know is that music, like many forms of art, has the power to reflect and sometimes even predict the pulse of the world. It's time for you to ponder. What do you make of these lyrics? Are they just a product of creative imagination or do they hold a deeper significance? What does it mean for us if a song from the past can mirror our present so accurately? Remember, the purpose of this discussion isn't to instill fear or anxiety, but to spark curiosity, to make us question, think, and perhaps even prepare for whatever the future might hold. If you found this video interesting, please give it a like, share it with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for more discussions about songs with eerily accurate predictions.